Oh no, not another one. James Corden has COVID, the third late night host this week to test positive. First Fallon, then Myers, now Corden. The news was delivered by Corden's CBS buddy, Stephen Colbert. We just found out moments ago that uh, our colleague uh, at 1230, James Corden has just tested positive for COVID. Corden's show will be off the air while he isolates at home. I'm fully vaccinated, boosted, and because of this, am fortunate enough to say I feel completely fine, he tweeted. The views Anna Navarro has also been hit with the virus. I am now uh, positive for COVID. I'm feeling no symptoms. I'm feeling uh, pretty good so far. She actually continued co-hosting the show from home. And Hugh Jackman is out of isolation. My first time outside in 10 days. The actor came down with COVID over the holidays, but is back on Broadway tonight, starring in The Music Man. So excited to get back to the theater. I'll be there later today. Meanwhile, CDC director Dr. Rochelle Walensky is really taking heat today. Criticism of the CDC and the and Dr. Rochelle Walensky has really grown to a fever pitch. The embattled doctor took to the morning shows today, attempting to clear up the confusion over pandemic isolation guidelines, and she was pummeled. Your agency, you know this, is facing a lot of criticism. People have said you've been confusing. Uh, any shortcomings you want to acknowledge? With all due respect, why is the guidance so confusing. The Today Show's Savannah Guthrie actually confronted her with mean tweets. S tweets like CDC now recommends eating straight off the floor. You know, it's amusing, but is there a larger credibility problem with your agency right now? We at the CDC are 12,000 people who are working 24-7 following the science with its ever-evolving nature in the midst of a really fast-moving pandemic.